Good morning, all of you. Hope you are all healthy and safe. Uh, so uh, let us move on to the next section of our first module, section 2.5. And in this section, we shall be discussing about uh, the solution, finding the solution of a differential equation by the method of substitution. Okay. So uh, so far we have uh, discussed about uh, methods of. I mean, like if we are given a differential equation of any particular form, how uh, we can solve it, right? Like if it is separable or if it is of linear, linear first order differential equation, then how can we solve? We can solve by finding the integrating factor. And if it is separable, we just have to uh, integrate it by um, the the both the sides, right hand side and your left hand side. So uh, we are familiar with uh, solving differential equations which are in a particular form. But usually in practical situations, uh, we won't be getting any differential equation in a particular form uh, to solve it. So most of the time, we'll have to transform the given differential equation into a particular form which is well known for us. Okay, uh, like into separable form or into linear form, we'll have to transfer it. Uh, so for that, we'll be using the method of substitution. Okay, so um, before moving on to uh, using the method of substitution, uh, we have to uh, study about a different, a particular uh, type of function which is called as the uh, homogeneous function, and what is homogeneous differential equation? Okay, so if a function possesses the property that f of tx comma ty is equal to t raised to alpha into f of x comma y for some alpha then we say that function is homogeneous and the degree of that function is alpha okay so this is the condition that we have to keep in mind that is f of tx comma ty is yes, we can take t raised to alpha common from that function t raised to alpha into f of x y for some real number alpha and the degree of that homogeneous function is alpha so uh, an example is given that is f of x y is equal to x cube plus y cube this is a homogeneous function so how can we be sure about it uh, like uh, what will be f of t x comma t y t x comma t y will be nothing but t x cube plus t y cube right so i can take t cube common t cube into x cube plus y cube which is nothing but f of x y itself so this is a homogeneous function and the degree of this homogeneous function is 3 but uh, see if i put uh, if you consider the function uh, x cube plus uh, y cube plus say x or uh, plus some constant say one this is not homogeneous because i cannot take t common or i can take i can take t common but i cannot take like t raised to alpha a term like t raised to alpha common from this particular function so this is not homogeneous so homogeneous functions have the following property now how can we say whether a differential equation is homogeneous or not uh, now the general form uh, we are going to consider is m of x y d x plus uh, n of x y d y that is m d x plus n d y equal to 0 ok so a first order differential equation in the following form in the following form which is the following form m d x plus n d y equal to 0 is said to be homogeneous this differential equation is said to be homogeneous if both these functions are homogeneous functions ok so a first order differential equation is said to be homogeneous differential equation if both the functions m and n are homogeneous functions okay so this is uh, the definition of homogeneity so now let's see how we can uh, i'll i'll uh, we'll first discuss the method and then we'll do a problem uh, to solve a differential equation so this is uh, the method to solve a differential equation which is homogeneous okay so first of all uh, we have to check whether the given differential equation is homogeneous so how can we do that we have to check whether m and n both are homogeneous functions or not 
So first thing, check whether the differential equation is homogeneous. So if it is homogeneous, then what we do is we go on to the next step. That is, we'll substitute y is equal to ux. Okay. So if y is ux, then what will be dy by dx? dy by dx will be nothing but uh, u. Here we'll have to apply the product rule, right? u plus x into du by dx. So we will substitute the value of y and the value of dy by dx in the given differential equation. So our differential equation will be in terms of x and u instead of x and y. So we will be given a differential equation in terms of x and y by the method we will check whether it is homogeneous and if it is homogeneous we will substitute y is equal to ux and once we do that substitution um, we get the differential equation will be transformed into uh, the differential equation in terms of y and x and also uh, extra fact is that that differential equation will be of um, some of the particular form that we are familiar with so it will be either linear or it will be separable okay mostly it will be separable and we'll have to just integrate it and in the end what we do is we just uh, substitute uh, u is equal to y by x to get the solution. So this is how we solve a homogeneous differential equation. So first now let's uh, move on to one example uh, which is um, uh, it is also given in your textbook. So the question is so we are asked to solve x square plus y square dx plus x square minus xy dy is equal to 0. So this is in our general form and here m is uh, clearly uh, continuous, I mean homogeneous differential equation which we have just now seen. We have seen x cube, x cube plus y cube. So here it is x square plus y square. And what is n of x, y? n of x, y is nothing but x square minus x, y. So you can verify whether this is homogeneous or not. It is homogeneous and of degree 2 it will be. Okay. So m and n are homogeneous. Now from this equation what do we get? We get x square minus x, y into dy is equal to minus of x square plus y square into dx or I can write dy by dx will be nothing but minus of x square plus y square by x square minus xy or uh, this is x square plus y square whole divided by xy minus x square removing the negative sign. Now here since our equation is uh, differential equation is homogeneous, I'm going to make the substitution y is equal to ux and dy by dx is equal to u plus x into du by dx. So let's see what happens after the substitution. We get u plus x into du by dx will be equal to x square plus u square x square whole divided by x into ux minus x square. So from the numerator and denominator I can take out x square right. So it will get cancelled. So it will become 1 plus u square whole divided by u minus y. Okay. So this implies x into du by dx is nothing but 1 plus u square by u minus 1 minus u. So this is equal to 1 plus u square minus u square minus minus plus u whole divided by u minus 1. So this implies x into du by dx is equal to this gets cancelled u plus 1 by u minus 1. So this is clearly in the variable separable form, right? So we get 
u we put u minus 1 by u plus 1 into du is equal to dx by x so we can integrate both the sides and find the solution so before integration we'll have to make this into a suitable form so this can be written as u by u plus 1 minus 1 by u plus 1 hmm? into du now we know what is the integral of 1 by x it is log x 1 by u plus 1 is again log of u plus 1 so here what i'll do is i'll just add and subtract 1 again okay so that i can get in a familiar form to different in integrated so this is again u plus 1 by u plus 1 is 1 and this is minus 1 by u plus 1 so there is uh, minus 1 by u plus 1 minus 1 by u plus 1 that is my so 2 by u plus 1 into du is equal to dx by x so now everything is in the integrable form so what will be the integration after integration you get u minus 2 times log u plus 1 is equal to log x plus the integrating constant so here i will take it as log c so this implies um, u minus 2 log u plus 1 is equal to log a plus log b is equal to log of a b right so log Six. So here, uh, this will be our particular solution. So here, you can either leave it this way, or you can substitute the value of u is equal to y by x. So this implies y by x is equal to two times log y by x plus one plus log of c x. Now, if you are given any initial condition, we can find the value of c also so you can leave it as it is or you can simplify it further in a particular uh, simple or suitable manner so this is how we solve a particular differential equation which is homogeneous okay this is the method so first whether check whether the functions are homogeneous and if they are substitute y is equal to ux and dy by dx is equal to u plus x into du by dx then it will be in the uh, simpler form it will be mostly to be separable form and uh, we can solve it by integrating both the sides simply so this is the method of solution for a homogeneous differential equation now if you are moving on to the next type there is a particular type of differential equation which comes after uh, it is named after mathematician Bernoulli okay so we are going to discuss about Bernoulli's differential equation so it will have a particular form that is uh, the Bernoulli's equation is of this particular form that is dy by dx plus p of x y is equal to f of x into y raised to n now till here so far up to here it is our form that we have discussed that is a linear first order differential equation is of this particular form right we write it in this form the standard form g dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to some function of x but in case of Bernoulli's equation we'll have an extra term that is y raised to n this will be a power of y in some way so it is not linear anymore because there is power of y of the dependent variable so this type of differential equation any differential equation of this form is called as the Bernoulli's equation and how do we solve a Bernoulli's equation again it is by method of substitution that is we have to substitute u is equal to 1 minus y raised to 1 minus n okay so when we substitute this the Bernoulli's differential equation which is not linear will be transformed into a linear differential equation which we will be able to solve okay so let's just see an example for that also how can we solve a Bernoulli's differential 
equation which it is given to us so for that we have to check whether it is a mean integrity clearly I mean you can verify whether it is a Bernoulli's differential equation or not so we are asked to solve x into dy by dx plus y is equal to x square into y square so once we see power of y itself we can like make sure that it is not any linear differential equation okay so let us bring it to a form which we are familiar so dividing by x on both the sides we get y by x is equal to x and x square so we get x into y square so here if we compare it with the standard form what is the standard form dy by dx plus p of x into y is equal to f of x into y raised to n okay so here p of x is nothing but 1 by x and n is equal to 2 okay so once n is equal to 2 what will be the substitution the substitution will be u is equal to y raised to 1 minus 2 so that is y raised to minus 1 hmm? so this implies u is equal to 1 by y this implies y is equal to 1 by u okay. y is equal to 1 by u so since u uh, so y is 1 by u so from this we will get what is uh, dy by dx right so dy by dx will be nothing but this implies dy by dx will be equal to minus 1 by u square into du by dx right so we are going to make the substitution in the given differential equation what will it be we get instead of dy by dx we will substitute minus 1 by u square minus minus 1 by u square into du by dx and plus we had y y was 1 by ux which will be equal to x into and what will be our y square y square will be equal to 1 by u square so what we do is we'll uh, multiply both the sides by u square so what do we get we get minus du by dx plus u square u so we get u by x is equal to x or I can write this as du by dx minus u by x is equal to minus x now this is a general form of a linear differential equation right so here there is no power of u and all so this we can solve by considering the integrating factor so what will be integrating factor the integrating factor for this equation will be e raised to integral of minus 1 by x into dx so that will be equal to e raised to minus log x uh, so we get 1 by x will be the integrating factor okay so after we find the integrating factor the solution will be of this particular form that is uh, u into the integrating factor is equal to integral of we have minus x into the integrating factor dx so that is nothing but x itself x plus some integrating constant so this implies i get u is equal to minus minus x square plus cx so here i'm going to make the substitution again that is u we had obtained u to be y raised to minus 1 or 1 by y so this is the required form because y can be written as 1 by 
minus x square plus cx this will be the solution okay so this is how we solve a Bernoulli differential equation that is if a differential equation is of a particular but uh, if is of the form uh, of a Bernoulli's equation uh, it will not be linear so if it is not linear by this particular substitution we will be able to make that particular uh, differential equation linear that is the substitution is u is equal to y raised to my 1 minus n okay so keep this in mind uh, this is how we solve a Bernoulli's equation so we have uh, seen how to solve two types of differential equations one is a homogeneous differential equation uh, in that we make the substitution u is equal to yx and the other one is a Bernoulli's equation in that we make the substitution u is equal to y raised to 1 minus n in homogeneous differential equation usually after the substitution the differential equation will be separable okay and in case of Bernoulli's equation after the substitution uh, the nonlinear differential equation becomes linear and we know how to solve a separable and a linear differential equation so these are the two types of uh, differential equation and their methods of solving by the substitution so that's it for today's session we shall be discussing more uh, problems as a assignment and exercise so thank you all stay safe and stay healthy